it's Poppy. <laughs> and you must be thinking, Poppy, what the heck? You've been so obsessed with having your hair grow out and length, length, length is all you've been talking about and now you want them to shrink? <laughs> well, yes, of course I want them to shrink because shrinking means that they're dreading. Shrinking means that they're getting thicker and stronger and I want strong, happy dreads because I want them to go to the distance. You know, I want these for 10 plus years and if I want that, then they need to be strong, they need to be healthy. I have been experimenting with ways to um, get them to shrink now instead of getting them to grow because the problem was when I made them grow too fast they weren't dreading up properly and they were getting very very thin at the roots and um, yes usually I have a lovely Sierra view behind me but uh, the Sun's just not facing the right direction for the location that I decided to shoot today but um, maybe I'll just give you a quick little view make this video because I had uh, done my second deep cleanse that I had ever done on my hair. My dreads are a year and a half old now and I've only done two of the baking soda apple cider vinegar washes on them so far and the first time I did it was what actually inspired me to take the biotin because they shrank so much after I did it and I just did it again and I don't know if you can tell but I can tell that they have shrunk again and I got a lot of dirt out this time um, and as you are probably already well aware clean dreads dread better <laughs> so washing your dreads is going to keep the dirt out which is going to give them the freedom to move and to knot up the way they're supposed to so I think that after I did the, the dread wash um, it shrank up significantly and I just really enjoyed the way they looked afterwards because they were so um, thick and happy so here's a couple of the techniques that seem to be working for me so far. One of the techniques that I use when I first get out of the shower is, I think it's called towel rubbing or root rubbing, and you take your towel and just kind of encourage those knots to just kind of take hold and, and really create that fluffiness right up at the root. Right now I've been experimenting with blow drying my hair upwards. So when I'm blow drying my hair out of the shower, I used to kind of blow down and just kind of, you know, straighten them almost a little bit um, while I was blow drying it, again, for the length. But now I'm just like blowing it up and even, you know, taking hair clips and holding it in place so that I can blow it without losing any hair in the process. Um, so that's a technique that I've been trying and that works really well. <laughs> and uh, another one that uh, I've been playing around with, I of course still have a whole bunch of the new growth loose hairs here. And so occasionally if I find a really soft silky one that uh, hasn't decided where to go yet, I'll actually just kind of do a little like fake back combing and just, <laughs> see, just kind of let it bunch up there and then throw some hair over the top of it um, and hopefully that will encourage a little bit of knotting up at the roots and so my hair is getting quite a bit fluffier because of it <laughs> which is cool because I like it fluffy it makes it feel full and um, I don't know it makes me feel pretty <laughs> and that seems to be working to get them to kind of do the crazy little bends so it encourages the uh, the loops and the bumps encouraging them yes I am encouraging them I'm not trying to crochet them out I want the loops and bumps so that's a uh, that's my new thing instead of length I'm going for girth Yow. so that's where I'm at <laughs> that's a beautiful thing about being a humanoid is I get to uh, change my mind and learn and grow and Maybe make some more mistakes along the way. <laughs> uh, 
I have made quite a few on my channel, so, you know, disclaimer, <laughs> do what's best for you and your hair. So yeah, um, keep following along because I'm sure there will be more adventures ahead and more mistakes to laugh at myself at. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, as always, thank you for watching and for joining me in the beautiful Eastern Sierra. I will see you again next time. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.